The Thaumatrope We have all seen the round card with a bird on one side and a cage on the other. Spin the card and the two sides seem to magically combine, placing the bird in her cage. This elegant toy was invented around 1824 and demonstrated beautifully that an image will linger momentarily in the eye. The persistence of vision principle is at the center of film and animation and is the reason we are able to perceive the illusion of movement from a series of sequential images. This replica includes 10 gorgeously printed reproductions on thick textured round cards, all housed in a handsome wooden box. The Phenakistoscope was the first device to demonstrate the illusion of animation. Invented by Belgian physicist Joseph Plateau in 1832, the Phenakistoscope was so revolutionary that it was seen by some as witchcraft. A slitted disc with sequential images mounted on a handle. Spin the disc and nothing unexpected happened. But if the spinning disc is viewed in a mirror, the images burst into life. Viewing the disc's reflection through its slits breaks up the blur of color into a series of sequential images creating the illusion of motion. This replica includes the 12 original discs manufactured by Plateau, housed in a nice box set with a solid hardwood and brass handle. The Zoetrope, likely the best known early animation device, was invented in 1834. The device consists of a slitted drum containing animation strips that spin on a wooden stand. By viewing the spinning animation through slits in the drum, the blur of color is broken into a rapid succession of sequential images, producing the illusion of motion. The zoetrope was an improvement over the phenakistoscope because it could be viewed by a group of people situated around the drum. This fine zoetrope replica is handcrafted with a solid wood stand and brass drum and includes 34 mostly historical animation sequences with a few modern examples. The Praxinoscope, invented in 1877, was the successor to the zoetrope. The Praxinoscope replaces the zoetrope slits with angled mirrors placed in the center of the drum. Viewing the spinning animation reflecting off these circularly arranged mirrors breaks up the blur of color into an animation sequence. Viewing the images off mirrors rather than through small slits provided a brighter, clearer animation, which was especially important before the advent of the electric light bulb. This fine praxinoscope replica is handcrafted with solid wood and brass and includes 48 mostly historical animation sequences with a few modern examples. Come experience the magic and take home something ancient at ancientmagictoys.com.